Well, there's another question we get asked all the time, Scott, and that's how's the market? That's that's always been historically the number one question that we receive, right? So hot off the press, we get the monthly stats on how things are performing in Orange County as a general. Obviously, if you want some want something more specific, citywide, zip code wide, or even neighborhood wide, we can be able to provide that. But the majority of our audience watching today are from all over Orange County. So we thought we'd give the Orange County stats. Absolutely. And we're going to make this a regular feature of the show. Monthly, our goal will be to provide updated information. So you've got it in one stop resource succinct and lane let's get to it okay so i'm going to mention scott a lot of these uh stats here in orange county and i want to get you know your opinion on what you're seeing and if this makes sense for you so for Absolutely. example new listings right now uh 2115 and that's up 10.8 percent. so there's more listings and the and the percentage is year over year so this time versus versus the exact same time last year in 2019. So up 10.8% new listings. Closed sales up almost 30%. Days on the market in 2019 was at 47. This time in 2020, 31 down 34%. So homes are on average are selling in a month or less. Uh, median sales price, average sales price up 10.2% and 15%. So the median sales price in Orange County is 915,000. The average sales price in Orange County for a single family detached, um, 1260000 Another important stat, the percent of original list price received. So what did you originally list your home for and what price did it end up selling for? And did you get 100%? Did you get less than 100% or over 100%? And that's up 2.4% at 98.8%. So uh, homeowners in Orange County are getting about 99% of their original list price. And then the month supply of inventory, Again, so now anything between four to six months is considered a neutral market. Higher than six months is a is a buyer's market. Anything lower than four months is uh, considered a seller's market. And right now we're at 2.8% month supply of inventory, down over 20%, where this time last year we were at 3.6, which is trending towards a neutral market. So we are definitely, definitely leaning in favor of, of a seller's market right now based on the month supply of inventory for Orange County. And what we've been talking about on past shows and even today is we know it's a seller's market because we know there's higher demand than there is supply. And we're in a multiple offer situation on almost every offer. What's encouraging to me, Lane, with those numbers is we do see the number of listings are starting to increase. We also look just from a boots on the ground standpoint, adjusted seasonally, generally as we start to hit the holiday season in the fourth quarter, the number of listings does drop off a little bit. We have a lot of people saying, oh, we'll wait till after the holidays to put our home on the market. We're seeing people now taking advantage of the hot market from a buyer's perspective. And these sellers are saying, we wanna be in the mix. We want to have more people that want our house than not. So we're going ahead and throwing our hat in the ring. And I'm seeing, they're saying, you know what, we'll push our plans forward a little bit. We may have wanted to wait till first or second quarter next year to move on to the next chapter of life. But you know what? We feel pretty confident putting our house on the market right now. And I think that's gonna be a good thing. I still think it's going to be a seller's market moving into the fourth quarter and the first quarter or continuing with the fourth quarter and into the first quarter of next year. But with a bit of a bump in inventory, I think that's just gonna give our buyers just a little bit more of an edge. So my advice from the numbers we see here is for the buyers, keep looking, keep watching. Don't put yourselves on hold just because we're heading into the holidays. I think you're gonna have a few better choices and the rates are still amazing. Well, nationally things tend to slow down in November and during the holidays more so because of the season, because it's a little bit colder, because you have to shovel your driveway or, you know, scrape the ice off your windshield, where in Orange County, we don't have to worry about that. We can still show homes comfortably all year round. So I guess there might be a little bit of a lull during a week before and or after uh, Christmas and New Year's and Thanksgiving. But for the most part, especially for us, Scott, over the last two years, uh, it's actually been quite steady all the way through the holiday season. No, it has been. And, and and people often ask us, well, what happens during the holiday season? And again, from our own perspective in our in our little world, if you will, of Orange County, typically our fourth quarter is quite strong. We have a lot of people calling us, a lot of people interested in in, in moving up, moving down, buying and selling. Oh, yeah, most definitely. One of the stats that I wanted to touch on that I that caught my eye 
uh, new listings versus closed sale listings, and then maybe it has a direct correlation with inventory. Well, yes. we did have a little bit of a lull in you know March because uh, we, nobody knew what was going on with the, with the stay at home orders that were put in place. So yes, things did start to, start to slow down, and it seemed like there were going to be less homes sold in 2020 than 2019. But actually, that might not be the case. There might there's a very good case that there's going to be more homes sold in 2020 than 2019, and that's probably why. So even though new listings are up 10.8 percent yes there's an increase in new listings which year over year is good close sales are up 30 percent so homes are selling faster than they're than, than are going than are coming to the market and that's a big reason why inventory is down 22 percent as well great I, and as always lane a huge shout out to you for able to put such um objective meaning to these kind of dizzying stats and facts <laughs> Well, we try to make stats, you know, informative and just make it have it make sense. But uh, I love reading out the, these stats and trying to come up with what I see going on and maybe can predict what's going to go on in the next several months. Well, I think what's nice is, you know, the, the statistics are the numbers. They're the truth of what's actually going on. And if we can put some meaning to that and shed some light on those to make your buying and selling decisions easier, that's all we want to do. That's what our passion is, is just to serve and to shed light. Yeah. Well, that's about our show. It's a, a beautiful Wednesday. I love doing these SNL shows with you, Scott. We went over several topics. If you listen to something that we might have said that somebody else that you know of can find value, share it with them. Give us some likes. Give us some comments. Give us some loves. If you have anything in particular that you want us to go over on the next show, leave that in the comments or the direct messages too. We think about all the questions that we're asked throughout the week, whether they're for specifically for our show or not. But there's definitely reasons why some of the topics like the mortgage forbearance and the foreclosures are coming up in our SNL shows is because these are the exact questions that we're hearing out in the real world. Great point. Lane. you know, Scott, uh, uh, Philip, Lane and I are out talking to clients, fielding phone calls, fielding emails and texts all week long. So the show is a culmination of what we're hearing from our client base. And we hope that that, again, is um, a small um, segment, if you will, of the population at large in this marketplace. Yep. Well, stay tuned for next week. Bye. For all right. Thanks again for watching. Have a fantastic, fantastic third week of October.